Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Prince Mason. I'm a photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. And today I'm going to be showing you my frequency separation technique. I get a lot of requests on how I retouch and how I do my frequency separation. Like a ton of requests. So this is just me, you know, like saying, okay, this is how I do it. And um, yeah, showing you guys. So if you do not know frequency separation, it's a technique that separates your skin tones, which is like the color from the texture. So um, the way it does that is placed into two different layers so you can work on either your skin tone or you can work on your texture separately. That way you do not have to you know, lose information when you're working on your skin tones or your textures. It's just like a very convenient technique to use and I really like it. I've been using it for a long time. So how I'm going to go about this, I'm going to create my frequency separation layers. Um, you can download an action, you can do it by yourself, whichever way there are a lot of tutorials out there and a lot of actions online. I'm just gonna use this action I you know I downloaded online. Then I'm gonna use my mixer brush tool to work on my low layer. That's why I always use I set my width 30 low 30 mix to 20 flow to 20 and I'll check this so that um, it doesn't load any brushes. And you have to be very careful about it, you have to be very subtle. Um, it's a very delicate technique. If you do not learn it, then you're gonna overdo it. Um, or you're not going to do it enough and you have to learn the anatomy of the face to really understand you know um, where to you know um, take some certain things out and you know where not to take some things out so like right here I'm just going to brush this out since I'm not really liking what I'm seeing there um, you know and right off the bat I can show you the before and after of that part you can see that little mark there then here too don't really like it this is um, you know lights and shadows actually make the face so if you overdo it, then you change the structure of the person's face, how the person looks. At the same time, you do not want it to remain the exact same thing. Now, for the um, you know, for this video, I'm probably going to make this extreme, a little bit extreme, so you people can see the power of frequency separation. To me, though, this is the best technique out there for frequency separation. This is the technique I use all the time, and it um, works for me. It's always worked for me perfectly. So. Yeah, I'm um, probably just going to stop talking now and just do this. Um, you have to learn, do not brush from the shadows into the highlights, do not brush from the highlights into the shadows, except you absolutely have to. What I do is that if I have to, you know, blend the sh um, shadows and the highlights, I just, you know, run my brush in between them so that um, the shadows and the highlights, so I do not make any silly mistakes that I'm not trying to make. So. Um, there's a technique that you just have to be very very careful about like I said you tend to overdo it if you're not careful with this technique so and you need to understand how the face works so right here I don't like this thing so I'm just going to blend this in and just bring it, bring this down. it looks like she has a um, double chin here so I'm just going to blend out I'm going to look at what I'm doing okay and then continue So hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is where we're going to right now. Um, didn't take that much time, as you can see. I'm not really taking my time with this portrait. I'm just kind of like going through it really fast. If I were you, I'll take a lot of my time. This is where we've come to right now. This is the before and this is the after. This is the before and this is the after. So um, I'm just going to, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to like do too much work here. I'm just going to stop here, um, right here. As you can see the neck here, this is the before again, this is the after, look at her face. Um, most of those um, parts of the face that we've kind of like lifted the face so the face looks really, really nice and you know, she looks extremely young right now. Um, so next I'll pick my clone stamp tool, which is right here. Um, my hardness is on 31, then um, opacity is 100, flow is 100 and I'm going to work on my high layer. So I'm just going to zoom into the face. Um, then um, I like her smile lines right here should be a good example so I'm just going to sample from you know close to her smile lines and um, I'm going to paint over sample and paint and then sample uh, and paint sample and paint now I'm going to take my time with this 
um, but it's a tutorial so um, I have to you know hurry up I don't want to keep you guys here for too long for some reason my brush is acting up um, yeah so So um, yeah, um, like she has blemishes, so I'll be careful about that. Um, so she has some minor blemishes, so I'm just going to take all that out. Um, she has freckles, I mean, so I'm going to be careful not to take her freckles out. Um, okay, so I'm just going to take some, some of this out of the way. Um, then um, to the forehead here, yeah. I'm just going to take some of this right here out of the way. Um, so this is how I do my frequency separation. This is how I smooth in my skin and retain all the texture without, you know, damaging the skin or damaging textures or, you know, ruining my, uh, my skin tones. This just how I go about it so um, yeah so this is frequency separation at its best um, to me though this is the best technique for frequency separation out there um, if you enjoyed this video uh, you know please give it a thumbs up um, if um, this video can get um, a lot of views um, probably I don't know if this video gets a lot of views then I would um, show you guys how I do my dodge and burn and how I sharpen my image and um, you know probably I'm going to put out a few grading videos out there um, but this is um, how I go about you know doing my frequency separation this is the before and this is the after anyways thank you very much um, if you like this video please subscribe give me a thumbs up you know share this video with your friends um, get people to come on this page let them see you know what we're doing here and um, be a part of um, this whole Prince Mason community so thank you very much for watching this and um, yeah I'll bring you um, a new tutorial as soon as possible, so yeah, peace.